Samsung is really on fire this 2020 the megapixel war is back on Samsung is moving on towards a new level that has never been seen on a smartphone camera before that is 144 megapixels we talked about this in the previous video that a bunch of different Chinese manufacturers have requested Samsung to make a 200 megapixel sensor which most likely will happen in the far future but right now Samsung is working on a 144 megapixel sensor if you guys remember Samsung is the first company company that started this trend from 48 matrix to 64 to 108 megapixels all these sensors were made by Samsung and all of these sensors made their first debut on a Xiaomi phone so seems like this will be the case this time around according to a Twitter leaks their Xiaomi is working on a phone with 144 megapixel camera sensor of course Samsung is the maker of this sensor they're also collaborating with Xiaomi on this project not long ago Samsung researchers revealed the 14 nanometer Finfa technology to make 144 megapixel image sensors this new tech a lot for a 42% reduction in power consumption so according to the leaks here the device name could be Meet and S Pro or Mi CC 10 Pro this is going to be the first phone in the world but I should say the first sampling 144 megapixel cell camera smartphone of course from Xiaomi now if we look at the previous pattern all these sensors that first made into Xiaomi phones eventually they did come to Samsung devices on Madrid range phones all the way up to flagship phones so we could see a custom version of 144 megapixel sensor for the Galaxy S21 or maybe by then if Samsung has a 200 megapixel sensor we might see that it's absolutely crazy. At this point I hope at all this megapixel count going up Samsung also do some improvements to the actual sensor because in my opinion that's gonna make a lot more difference. Also in the news Samsung is going through a lot of criticism because of their decision of using Snapchat. Snapdragon processor in South Korea Yes South Korea is the home for Samsung that is where they make their own Samsung Exynos processor and they don't even use that in their own market which is a testament of how good the Snapdragon A processor is compared to the Exynos 990 as reported by Samuel Com Samsung's Exynos division felt humiliated by this decision as we talked about in the previous video Samsung is still bringing the same kind of thing with the Galaxy Note 20 family so there's a U model and then there's a B model Model which means Exynos and Qualcomm it's gonna be very interesting to see what processor Samsung will use in South Korea for the Galaxy Note 20 especially now this is all over the news guys here's the thing Samsung will never quit making Exynos chips because they cannot completely depend on Qualcomm but what they can do for the future is to close the performance gap with the Galaxy Note 20 still months away we can still see some performance improvement due the Exynos chip one solution that was mentioned is that Samsung should ditch its own custom CPU cores in favor of ARM designs that is what Qualcomm Snapdragon H65 also utilizes so that could help close the performance gap again we'll see what Samsung do to fix this problem because this humiliation will continue forever because Qualcomm will always add you out Samsung so I really want to see what they're gonna do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and sub will be amazing if you enjoy the video thanks for watching and see you on my next video. Thank you.